In this movie we're going to have a look at using the layout book to print out a set of documentation. First of all the navigator is set up perfectly to let a project evolve through to that process. First of all if we start in the project map in this area we're concerned with building an accurate model. We don't have much concern whether the walls are solid or vectorially hatched or whether they've got dimensions there or not. We're just building the model. Once we get all the information about the model into the plan, we take all this raw data and then migrate it to the view map. Here we take the views that we created in the project map and massage them and give them a flavor to produce a certain set of documentation. For example, if we click on the plans ground view now, now we have a bunch of layers that have been turned off. We've got dimensions showing that weren't showing in the previous view. And once this is done, we keep working through elevation sections and all these different views of the model to give them a certain purpose in order to create the set of documentation. This is essentially how your pages will look. Then once that's finished, we have to go across the layout book. And here is where we set up our pages so we can bring all those drawings in so we can print them out or publish them in any format we like. The first step to this is selecting the correct master. We've got a bunch of masters here, different paper sizes, and then first we need to choose the one that we need. I click on this icon here, which is the page, and down here we see it's master A1. To change that, it's going out the wrong side of the screen, unfortunately, but I'm just flicking through them. There's a bunch of different masters there and I'm going to stick on A0. So now this page is an A0 page. If I double click on it we see here's my page here. Now I just need to drag some drawings onto there. So once I've got that page open there's actually three ways of getting drawings in there. First of all if I leave the page there this is perhaps the easiest way and I go back to my view map and then I think I might get this set of plans and drag it onto there. It's just drag and drop once on the plan, I can drag it by pushing Control D or selecting the middle node and dragging the drawing around like that. If I don't click on the middle node, I drag and I just click anywhere in the rectangle, the drawing moves but the frame doesn't. So I'm just going to drag that back to where it was before and I'm going to grab the top of this frame and when I do that, my pit palette opens up and then I can drag that down and crop that so it's, there's a bit more room on the page. And then I'm going to push Control D, drag that up to the top there. Title is right there. If I want to move the title from there, I merely select it by using the Move sub-element handle there. And there's my title outside. So now I can go back to my view map and I might place Unit 1, Story 1, right there as well. So it's pretty easy to just drag and drop. If I need another page, I go back to here and right mouse click on here and say New Layout. I can call the layouts anything I like, so I might call this Elevations. And this is defaulted to an A3 sheet. We can see the A3 right there. So I can actually just select that and change that back to A0 and we've got the same page again. Now another way of dragging drawings onto this page is by, by clicking on the project chooser and clicking show organizer. Once the organizer appears I can make sure I've got my views down this side and on this side I make sure I've got my page or layout editor. Then. I can see this page has no drawings on it and I can just grab an elevation and drag it onto this page. As soon as I do that, so there's my drawing underneath, I can drag in. I've got to make sure I place it right on the greyed out or highlighted name. Once all the drawings are placed, we can see a list of them and I can close this up and they've all been placed in the middle. So now I'm just going to move them out and spread them out a little.
Another way we can get drawings into here is using the drawing tool. If I click on the drawing tool and click in here, this dialog box comes up and I can choose another drawing and push place. And once the object has been placed, we can further document by using any of the 2D tools that are available and the drawing tool, the figure tool, and place any of those on the layout as well. As an example, if I click on the label tool and I want to label something over here, and I type label, that's all we have to do. One of the big advantages of having the layout book within the ARCHICAD file is that we can place 2D library objects very easily. So for example, this north point, just push OK and place it on the layout. Very easy. The other thing we need to look at is the way the pages are numbered in the layout book. So to do this, I right mouse click on the layout and go to book settings. Over here, we can see that we're using a hierarchical view and we have no ID prefix at the moment. So the numbering will start at 1 and the ID style is 010203. So that's why over here the first folder is called 01 and the second folder was called 02. Now if I push OK, now there's no subsets here so I might just create one and just call it plans and call another one elevations so then once they've been created if I right mouse click on the subset and I click on subset settings over here we can see that it's automatically assigned 01 and to customize the ID assignment it's 01 as well the prefix for this subset is just a dot so the ID style is 123 once again so first of all we'll have 01 will be the first subset and the pages in there will be labeled 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 so if I push OK we can see that there's only one page in here but if I created another page by right mouse clicking there and saying new layout I'm just going to push create over there straight away that's become 01.2 in order to change this and customize it a bit more I can right mouse click on the book settings and change the prefix might call it DD and change the style to 002, 003 once I push OK everything's been renumbered the pages now read DD001.1 and the next page reads DD001.2 now if I was to create another new subset and place that underneath this subset the numbering has changed again this is now DD001.1 and if I drag this into this subset it also has 0.1.1.1 now. As you can see every level we add has a logical way of adding a prefix. If I wanted to change the prefix for just this set we can see down here it will change the drawings in this set but the prefix hasn't been changed down here. If I drag that up to there the numbering system is still logical.